time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go, stand tall and hold tight. Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life. Doubt is overnight, and onto them you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. Ignite. Clamp for intuition upon the stars in the night that glisten. To you, they listen to me, you extend to the When your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Now is my time. And standing in the middle of the room is none other than Hallister Black Cloak himself. So Hallister is standing there with a staff, and at the top is a bloom of green flame. Green flame! Can I tell just immediately if this is an illusion or not, being as I am a, a master of illusion? Make an intelligence check. That's not great. That's a ten. Good enough. Oh. You oh. think this is a walking snow cone. He's basically a simulacrum made of ice uh. and snow. Oh. A false halister. But solid. You right, can... right. It's a snowman, guys. Frosty. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's completely made of snow. He's not, he's not really here. I walk up and uh, I kind of poke at it. All right. <laughs> it's, just, it's just snow. <laughs> See? It's snowman. Come on. All right. Uh, he tries to clobber you with his staff. <laughs> oh! When he hits you with the staff, you are immolated in green flame. And you take five fire damage, and you are on fire. I roll. stop, drop, and roll. All right. And Hallister says, poke me again, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Not a snowman. Snow asshole. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shine it against that wall a little bit. All right. As soon as you approach the wall, something busts out through it. I'd like to leave that room now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. See that guy go, oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's the cool man. The oh. figure who bursts out goes, oh, yeah! <laughs> really? <laughs> and it's a metal gnome. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And, oh, is, oh, yeah. And right. uh, yes, oh, yeah. <laughs> you see that he has got a glass belly that has <gasps> what? a fluid sloshing no! around inside no! of it. Yeah. Is it tipsy? Is it tipsy? And he says, I'm tipsy special. Would you like some of my fruit punch? <laughs> Why is he here? <laughs> I, I, I just got a little uncomfortable. I, the hardy, uh, your hardy stock will surely neutralize any devious toxin <laughs> in this roboid's sloshy belly. <laughs> so find the spigot on this thing and Hold just start up. going crazy. <laughs> Go nuts. Tap. <laughs> yeah, dwarf, don't be a bigot. Suck my spigot. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta do it. Now listen, unless you want to find a job in the worst economy Waterdeep's had in 300 years, <laughs> drink his juice. <laughs> Just get, get crazy. First room, I'm gonna rod steward it in this room. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll edit that part out. <laughs> edit that part out? <laughs> Heaven forbid we offend Rod Stewart. <laughs> well, the cool. <laughs> just a, a little sip. It doesn't have to be a lot. I'm not saying I, right, you know, five so gallons. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a schluck from right. the gay robot's dick. <laughs> You know, why not? <laughs> I told you we were sinking to a whole new level. That's right. It could be like a buff. Yeah, you maybe you'll feel really good. Right. I feel yeah. I'll feel pretty. What am I rolling? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. 
When I'm you're... ruling against a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> it tastes really good. It tastes fruity. It tastes awesome. Like pineapple? Yeah. But that's the true thing. I... <laughs> okay. All right. So <laughs> yeah, you feel you feel really good. You feel like you could you could do some serious damage. Really? You're jazzed up. I would. Oh, I want to drink out of that too. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was. I push Binwin aside to get my mouth on it. <laughs> no! No, it's mine! No. <laughs> hey, uh, if you don't want to have to suck too hard, you gotta turn the spigot. <laughs> Make sure yeah. high on. And then the valve on the bottom. Right. And then, and then if you're ready, the shotgun. I, I pull away too quick and it gets in my hair. And like, yeah, it's on my glasses. There's a there's a button back here. Yeah. But don't press that. Okay. All right. Okay. You don't want to shotgun it. Yeah. Okay. So hold on. You're not exactly sure what the effect is, but you feel really good. You feel Excellent. capable. You feel competent. It feels. My skin looks better. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That is true. That's true. It's totally true. It's true. And they don't think about that. No, they don't. They buy all this expensive stuff. No. They don't need to buy it. It's no. free. I'm not afraid. I'm going to sleep like this. <laughs> okay. There's only enough left for one. I'm, I'm good. I, I'm, are you, I'm are good. you interested? I'm, I'm you know what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm fine. Like, we should. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> we should. Like you sleep like that. <laughs> we should. We'll Where save. are you going? Yeah. No. <laughs> we'll save some for later. Uh, once the gnome is drained, <laughs> uh, he just kind of stumbles shut back into the wall. <laughs> falls asleep. He just kind of uh, collapses and. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> of course, he falls asleep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Don't worry about me. <laughs> After lighting a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you, yeah, you write a song about this, Viari. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, anyway. Please. I charge the door. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oops. Eight. Ah! <laughs> Want to try again? Uh, I'll, sure. I'll try the knob. Oh. It opens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, voila. Gentlemen. Exciting new dwarven invention, the doorknobs. <laughs> Why we brought the rogue. But your singing also brings something out of the forest. Through the trees, you see a galloping unicorn. What? A beautiful uh, unicorn with a purple mane, which it's tossing to and fro. I want this unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would. For yeah. your own? Yes. Yeah. As a speed? Yeah, I do. I approach it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Omen, it is actually your turn. I approach it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> You are close to it. I'm going to kneel okay. before the unicorn. It impales you through the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid. No. I seek its grace, and I ask for it to mediate between these two parties. He says, oh, OK, you then. Shit. <laughs> It's, I get the Mr. Ed unicorn. We got a stupid unicorn? I'm not stupid. I got an orb for you. Oh, <laughs> well, that's great. Can I have it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a what? An orb. You see him get all sort of bunched up? <laughs> this is not what I imagined the unicorn would be like. <laughs> All right, I, I'm gonna go ahead and take one for the team and investigate this magical crap. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, you're gonna grab the unicorn butt candy? Yeah. yeah. I mean, do I? Unicorn. My name's Wilbur. All right. Well, she ducks back into her tree. Yeah. She phases away. But her, her sisters are still there, and they will attempt to charm you all. Mm. Mm. I'd like all of you to make wisdom saving throws. Uh, seven? Woo! <laughs> Uh, yeah, you are charmed by one of them. It, am I able to disengage no. here? Well, uh, not that I'd want to, really. No, I mean, no. She, the, the dryads just all kind of swarm around you yeah. and I, begin I, caressing I, you. I, I put you, a hand on his shoulder. Just a sec. Just so we're we're. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they start whispering elven nothings in your oh, ear. Wow. Yeah, no, I put the hand and, uh, and they're back. pulling him away. Yeah, they're I put the hand back on the shoulder oh. and I'm like. Bark, man, think about it. It's like four different kinds of bark. Maybe we give him like five minutes. Yeah, to ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half minutes. All right. Okay, and we're, we're just gonna be outside. You do. Listen, you you got you do it, man. You got it. You do your thing. And then we'll just be out, and we'll, I'll just kind of kick the goblin bones around, and yeah. just sort of pass the time. Well, are you gonna grab him? Or... <laughs> I got the orb and I backed out. I will leave. I mean, I'm not gonna stick around. Right, thanks, guys. I'm not gonna cock block. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> yeah. Can you I mention? say we give him five minutes with. Which, which four dryads. I mean, yeah, that once in a lifetime. They lure you into the forest, and as they are caressing you lovingly, a vine noose drops around your neck and hoists you off your feet. But, but some people pay for this, you realize. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't kink shame. Uh, yeah, you can see that the tree that they have sort of lured you up next to is alive, and it's got a snarly, growly, angry <laughs> face. Okay, you're fully in charge of your faculties at the moment, and uh, dangling about six feet off the ground. I, I'm assuming that I can, uh, I can draw my rapier, cut myself free, do a backflip, kick off the tree, and, like, land in the room here. <laughs> Preferably swinging by some manner of vine. <laughs> you think that that can be done. What you have to do is make an attack roll against the vine to free yourself. Okay. Do it. Oh, shit! There yeah, we go. 25! Nice. Let's get some damage. You have to do oh, enough damage nice. to slice through the vine. Ooh, that's good. Seven. Yes, you slash through the vine. Now I'd like you to make a dexterity check to do that wonderful bit of acrobatics you described. Okay. So there's six and two. That's eight Twelve. plus... Four oh. is twelve. That's All right. Solid. Yeah. It is like the best landing you've ever had. <laughs> when you land inside the room, the dryads, they all retreat into the foliage. The hangman tree does not have the reach to grab you, so you appear to be safe. Now, do you, do you wait the other four minutes and 45 seconds? <laughs> I actually, I go and I'll reach through and I'll grab some leaves. Oh, yeah. Kind of like, and I'll get them in my hair <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> And then I kind of, I rip my shirt a little bit. <laughs> and uh, it, after a little more than five Ooh. minutes, right? I'm about ready to go in. I, uh, I'll come out kind of like, sorry guys, sorry, sorry. But we can work that out when we get back, okay. obviously. Jim okay. wants details. Yeah. He wants deets? Deets. Oh. How was it? Yeah. Well, I mean... Did you get wood? <laughs> that's that's low-hanging fruit. <laughs> uh... <laughs> A gentleman never tells. But it was like this. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, there was only four. <laughs> wow! Jim uh... is super impressed and really wants to be friends with V now. <laughs> Above the ship, facing away from you, beyond the ark, is a statue of Halaster, 
It is 30 feet up in the air and levitating, and it is holding one of its arms out like this. Uh, well, that's easy. <laughs> I have feathers that I kept from the bird, my bird friend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I use them to cast flight on myself. The, your murder bird? <laughs> well, <laughs> we had good times and bad times. I'm not going to go in to it now. The one you used to murder that guy? That was one of the things that happened. In cold blood? All I'm right. floating up. Yes. As you're floating up there <laughs> next to the statue. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding it and I'm looking down at them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, something lands on your shoulder and digs its little claws into your <gasps> shoulder and it feels familiar. Is he back? But it, whatever it is, it's invisible and he caws in your ear and he says, I'm back. I'm back. Now, you. Why the treasure can be ours? No, you turned into a demon and you ate that guy. No, no, I'm a bird. That lady kissed me and she killed me and then, and then you turned into a demon and you tried to kill my friend. I know, friend. that was a very Viari, bad mistake. Climb the chandeliers and get up there. But, uh, okay. are you, are you, you gonna do that again? You don't need to tell me twice. I, I would never hurt you, Jim Darkman. You had me never. at chandelier. Why did you eat that I guy? I am your familiar. Why did you eat the Viari, little guy? Viari, I want you to get him down here. <laughs> is the bird still here? Yeah, the bird is still on your shoulder. Uh, it's invisible. Invisible. When you say it. that you and I could have all the treasure, Can what do you have mean? Another one of those. Yeah. He says, "How is there's treasure?" Oh, do I? Oh. Mm. He says, "It's in his ark." <sighs> all right, I need the orb. Oh boy! I grab. I so I take the bird. Ark. So they they see me like this, right? <laughs> and I go, "You, you and I could have all of the treasure." Yep, you and I. Okay. I say, you almost killed my friends, and I cast Burning Hands. <laughs> Hard core. Holy shit. That is... <laughs> Just... That is awesome. What color flame is it? They are green flames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a smell like a turkey dinner. Roll damage. Bring on the damage. Oh, wow. 12 damage. Okay. Well, the bad news is, is that it is fire resistant. However, you still kill it. <laughs> <laughs> When your time comes, don't postpone it When others doubt it, out you don't condone it Truth be told Yourself is your toughest opponent When your moment comes, grab hold and own it